to Dov, who's joining us, I believe, from Tel Aviv in Israel. Um, Dov is also involved in a lot of projects. Uh, we work with the African Tourism Board. I think he represents, actually, Alain, he represents uh, Seychelles, Air Seychelles or Seychelles Airlines. I know there are two of them now in Israel. And he also represents the Tourism Authority of Thailand in Israel. Good morning, Dov. Uh, good evening, I guess, and shalom. I think you have to turn your mic. Maybe I have to turn you on. Let me just unmute you. There you go. Yes. Good evening from Tel Aviv. Shalom, salam. Um, it's, 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 it's really fantastic. You know, I, I'm taking part in these, uh, in these meetings of, that, that you uh, organize, Jürgen, and I'm, I'm delighted every time that in each and every meeting something pops up that really, you know, creates so much energy and, and great uh, activities that we can uh, undertake, and even that are not part of the agenda. Something that, for example, Taleb mentioned is just an idea that popped up during the last meeting. Um, I think that, that what you have decided as the key word of hope is actually, it's, it's, it's not just a nice, nice term. It's, I think this passion for opening borders and for getting people together, for getting out of, out of our routine and our home when we are not confined. And that, that is the whole essence of tourism. Tourism is not just going from one place to the other and spending a few bucks and, and going back home. Tourism is, 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 is inspiration. Tourism is, is changing minds. Tourism is peace. And I think that we have a task that we didn't talk about, I think, enough during all these meetings. And that is to define what is that, what is that fourth stage. I, you know, I created a four-stage model from retreat, restart, response, and renewal. What is that fourth stage that we are aiming for? What is the inspiration for the, for the post-corona period? What do we want to change? How do we want to prevent some of the illnesses that we as mankind have created? How are we going to really learn from this story of one mankind, one, one illness that we have to fight together. What are we going to learn from all this and, and how are we going to translate that into a new tourism model, new tourism concept? That is what really keeps me awake at night. We can't just return to what we have done before. I am for 30 plus years in tourism and I love tourism on, on all aspects. But I do realize that this, this event cannot just, it has not been just, you know, for the sake of fighting a, a virus. It is, it happens because of, of things that we must change. And, and that, is, that is what, you know, when we're talking about one year from now, what is, what is tourism going to do? For example, my neighbor, Jordan, you know, we, we live in, in, in a neighborhood and we, 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 we even don't consider us as, you know, being actually domestic tourism. We don't consider it because, you know, that's, that's a political reality, reality. But now that we are stuck all together in this, in this drama, we need to rephrase our way of thinking and our policies and our... Uh, uh, and, and our, our activities, I mean, for example, you mentioned Thailand. In Thailand, we defined that during this period, this first stage, our task is to keep the dream alive. That is our, our one and only task. We can't get people to any destination. We can't promote any sales. We, we have to promote to keep the dream alive. And I think for all of us, that, I mean, that is the whole story of, of your project, Project Hope is we have to tell the story that it's not just an industry that is, you know, fighting for survival. It's not just that we are uh, hoping that we can go back as soon as, as we can. We have to keep that dream alive and we have to change that dream. We have to give form to that dream. And I'm enormously happy that I'm here and this, this, that you gave me the floor to be a um, member of part of this, this fantastic group. 
we can make a change and we can create that hope. Thank you so much, Jürgen.